how to speak to the universe wow this is gonna be one of the craziest videos because i know this works right once you speak to the universe you'll get things that you'll surprised you'll be surprised by honestly right because when you speak to the universe the universe will listen <laughs> all right so let's talk about how to speak to the universe all right in this video <clears throat> number one okay number one is really really be specific okay so when you speak to the universe it's not good enough to be vague it's not good enough just to be like just to have a general idea like no that's not gonna work right to speak to the universe you have to be very very specific and you have to have a feeling towards that what that that thing okay so for example my my experience I'll, I'll give you one example from my my own life right so when I was in uh, college right and I was like about to start school I was thinking to myself oh man I want a baddie right I'm trying to mac up a nice little big booty thing you know what I'm saying like really really you know voluptuous and then and also I was like you know what I don't want an Asian girl I want a white girl like I'm, I'm sick of these Asian girls <laughs> you know what I'm saying and because I went to school upstate there were a lot of white girls and and then the universe spoke back they the universe listened right i was i was praying for a bootylicious white girl and the the universe listened right it heard me and what's crazy was this white girl she actually liked me back she actually liked me before i even talked to her which is kind of crazy like i only found out when like we started dating and stuff like that and yeah like the, when i was in college and that happened to me i was like wow that's kind of crazy right like I, I at that point I had never been with a white girl. I've always wanted a, a, a white girl that was just like very cute, nice eyes, and then like super thick, you know? And she had all that and I was like, Wow, I got blessed. Really, really blessed. And that that was even the end of it. Like I, st I still kept asking the universe for more things and the universe kept dishing them out. Right? So like another thing I asked for, for the, from the universe was and it, I remember, I'm not asking. I'm just speaking to the universe. I'm just like speaking out loud. I'm just telling the universe, okay, this is what I want. This is how I'm gonna get it. And yeah, this is this is this is this is what I want, right? So another thing is like, I wanted to have a six pack. Boom, I got a six pack, right? And, and you, I'm, I'm making it seem very easy. Like, oh, I got this girl just because I talked to the universe. Boom, I got a six pack just because I wanted a six pack. Like, no, right? What I mean by when you speak to the universe and the universe is listening, it's the universe is actually this, okay? This is the universe. This is the, your brain is everything. It's the whole world. It's, it's literally God, right? When I tell people about um, me not having any religion, but then now me coming around to religion, I really only came around to religion when I realized that God is within us, right? And Jesus died for our sins. So we could live life to the fullest and live life without worry of sin, right? Because Jesus will forget, forgive our sins. And when you realize that God is within us, right? And the universe is within us, when you say, how do we speak to the universe when you ask that question right you have to ask yourself how do i speak to my brain <laughs> how do i speak to myself right because you are the universe who am i who, like i am god so who what is god to you how like you know what i'm saying like not what is god to you sorry but what is you like who are you right it's like you know what i'm saying like <laughs> i know what god is <laughs> god is like everything because that's what that's what they say god is everything and everywhere and whatever right it's literally it makes up everything basically and yeah that, that really spoke to me because like when you think about it and when you think about it about how like when you say these things to the universe or to your brain right 
it just is implanting that desire, right? And then once you have that desire and you constantly feed it to yourself, like constantly feeding that desire to yourself, then you'll make yourself want it even more. Just just for example, like like it's it's it, like when I when I say your universe or your your mind or whatever, that's more more so like your subconscious mind. It's not your like active thinking mind. It's more of your subconscious mind, right? The the brain that's like working when you're not really thinking about it, right? It's it's like working on its own basically. And when you input stuff like, oh, I want to get a a baddie white girl or I want to get a six pack, right? You're inputting these things into your brain and then your subconscious mind gets to work on like how to obtain it right it's not really like oh like i'm i'm consciously making the decision to go do this this and that like no i already spoke to the universe i told the universe okay this is what i want and it's very specific i know what i want and then now the universe is gonna start bringing me ways to get it bring me like opportunities basically right and and once the opportunity comes you gotta you gotta you gotta grasp it right so like for example it's, it's very it's very confusing without an example so i have to keep the example okay so like for example for that white girl right now that white girl she was a stranger to me right before i ever went up to her okay so when you just speak to the universe saying oh i want a big booty white girl and whatever right she's she's not going to just magically show up right it's not, that doesn't really happen it's not magic right so you have you have to take that approach a little bit more realistic okay so when you say oh i want a big booty white girl right now you have to think about okay how do i get a big booty white girl right is it just talking to more people is it is it working on your appearance right just, like there's a lot of factors that go into obtaining a big booty white girl right and yeah like you have to you have to approach it in a way where it's like okay i'm confusing you guys okay sorry but like you have to realize that like once you say it and speak it into existence now your brain subcon your subconscious mind will start figuring out ways to get it right ways to get it basically and it's it's really not up to you like your mind will just do it automatically because if you want it hard like strong enough or you want it badly enough you'll get it like your brain will make you get it because it's already implanted in your brain like for my for example for my six pack right so like my whole life i was like yo i want to be buff i want to look like superman i want to have abs i want to have muscles i want to be ripped right and this, this is what i said really early on when i was a like really little kid like six maybe six five seven years off some around there the single digit numbers like a little ass kid and yeah i told the universe this at a y really young age and i didn't know what i was doing like I, I didn't expect to actually have a six pack or whatever but once i said it into the universe right once i said it out loud or not even say it out loud but like think it okay then it became a physical not not physical form but like you know figuratively a figure of physical form it became a real thing it became it into existence right a thought can actually exist that's the crazy thing right once you think of a thing once you think a thought it's now exists into in the universe it exists in this world that we live in now because you thought this thought okay so now let, let's say i think of a car that can fly right now i just thought of a car that can fly that you know that that's that's a that's a new thought that just came up from my brain right even though it, it's like a, an invention that somebody else came up with before it doesn't exist now right but it's a thought right and once you have these thoughts in your brain right and you constantly are thinking about the same thing over and over your subconscious mind will figure out ways to get that thing without you actually having to think about it, right? Because your brain is very mysterious. It'll work when you are not working. Like, if you're not thinking about it, it'll still be churning, right? It's still it's still constantly churning. It's working in overdrive, like, when you don't even realize it. And you have to realize that, that when you speak to the universe, it really does listen. And when you say things like, oh, like oh I'm I'm fat I'll never get in shape, like 
that they listen they're gonna be your subconscious mind heard that right they heard that your, your universe heard that okay so now what what is what is your universe gonna gonna do you think they're gonna give you things to do what to to get you in shape hell no no now you firmly believe okay i'm fat i'm gonna be obese my rest of my life i'm not gonna work out there's no point like i'm, I'm just fat this is just the way i am right that's just the way your mind works the way your subconscious mind works it's it's by default that's just it's just automatic that's just how it works right and it's not like i'm inputting the program boop, 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 like do this and that da, da, da. no it's literally just like that it's instantaneous like you know what i'm saying like like you don't you can't really control what the subconscious does but you can control what the conscious does that leads to the con- subconscious doing things right so th- that it's really tricky it's really thin line of uh decisions or thoughts right it's it's very tricky cuz just the just one thought really could like flip a switch and turn your whole life around right so if anything i'm saying makes any sense to you like try to take some action okay cuz then you'll you'll see more more results okay and yeah when you speak to the universe the universe being your subconscious mind yourself you god whoever you are right like i I, I, I'm gonna say this right now, right? That when when I'm saying that universe is within you, like don't think I'm like a crazy person. Okay, please do not comment down below. Oh my God, this guy's loony. He's he, he needs to be locked up in a mental institute. Like he's calling everybody God. Like <laughs> like nah, don't 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 put words in my mouth. All right, please don't call the ops on me. All right. I'm not I'm not I'm not crazy, okay? I'm just trying to tell you that when you speak to the universe, the universe does listen. And the universe is much closer than you think, right? The universe, there is a universe inside of you. Literally, when you think about it, right? And there's a lot of uh theories in the world, right? Like the quantum theory, right? Which is like the very very small particles and stuff. That's like another universe when if it within of itself right if you go straight down super super duper small there's literally a universe that's super duper small that's a quantum realm right and then if you expand really really big that's another one i don't know what's called but that's another one right when you i don't know but that's basically it i want to keep it short right because it's not really that crazy right when you how to speak to universe is just how to speak to your subconscious mind and the way to do that is just really planting in specific goals specific ideas in your brain really early on and then constantly thinking about those goals and ideas right because it takes a conscious effort to plant subconscious thoughts or to to have your subconscious work for your thoughts if that makes sense right so speak to speak to the universe is to speak to yourself and to speak to yourself you have to speak in a way that is beneficial and that will empower you right to 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 do good right because you can speak to the universe and say negative things you could really say really bad things and the universe will listen and give you what you say okay so really be careful how you speak to the universe how you speak to yourself how you speak to your brain and be 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 nice to yourself honestly be nice to yourself be confident in yourself be pr- and do things that will make you proud of yourself right really implant thoughts in your head that will make you proud of yourself like oh i'm gonna be ripped right i'm gonna be sexy and be a model like you know like say these things like even even if they're not true say these things and your subconscious mind will make it happen i'm telling you right now like if you you won't believe me but like the way the brain works is like let's say you have the thought oh i'm I'm gonna become a model even though you're obese right your mind will start to start working they're like oh like how do i become a model okay Maybe tomorrow I'm gonna start looking up ways of how to become a model. How do I find an agent? How do I work out? You know, like your mind will start to come up with ways to get you towards that conscious goal. I'm telling you right now, this does happen, right? Like for me, my example, okay, I told the, the universe, hey, I wanna be, I wanna be ripped. I wanna look like Superman. I wanna have abs, right? So what did what did the universe do for me? Did it did it just like ignore me? No. You know what they did? My my subconscious mind started to seek out 
workouts, right? Seek out proper nutrition, right? Your brain starts to do these things uh, like subconsciously, like unconsciously, not not subconsciously, unconsciously, like without you even thinking about it, it starts to seek these information out. It just does that randomly, just by itself, you know? And it's kind of crazy the way it works. Like it really is so powerful. So take that information as it is, right? I'm not gonna go too crazy with it because this is some deep, deep stuff and it gets kind of like confusing at a certain point and I don't want to get too in depth into it to the point where it is too confusing, okay? So if you do want a part two, just comment down part two and I'll make a part two. But yeah, it's very simple, right? Really, it's really easy to speak to you. It's not literally speaking, right? You can if you want to, but like it's just creating that thought and feeding that thought to your subconscious constantly because you have to realize when you speak to the universe you're speaking to yourself okay just remember that okay i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you like subscribe and then drop a comment down below about what you have asked of the universe and if you have actually achieved it and if you haven't let me know how or why and yeah i'll see you in the next video the one video right here or check out my channel over here all right see you later Peace.